You ever think about the Roman Empire? All the time. Why? What are you, what are you thinking about it? Well, because we're in those times right now. Everybody's preoccupied with sports, movies, work. You know, what? Roman Empire said that everybody was equal. Everybody had a chance. Uh -huh. But it wasn't. The rich got richer and the poor got poor. And they worried constantly about people rioting. Uh huh. Because they knew that the common man, the common people, uh -huh. could take over at any time. So they would bring them into the Colosseums and they would give them free grain. They would give them bread. They would give them wine, whatever they needed to fill their bellies and block their minds from what they were angry about. They would watch plays. They would watch fights with the gladiators, sometimes for months on end. Huh. And that's where we're at right now. That bread has been replaced by seed oils. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. My name is Zukardowski here of WeAreChange.org, and there's a lot of absolutely absurd, crazy, and wild news to get into today, as, of course, we have some very interesting developments surrounding a rock star that the establishment is hell-bent on destroying the livelihood of, as, of course, we are still waging a total insane proxy war inside of Europe that is making the situation worse for everyone around the world, including some of the poorest people in the world that are being screwed over by the insane policies and warmongers that can't just stop beating the drums of war. We're going to be talking about that plus a lot more all here on this independent media organization. If you like the shirt that I'm wearing, you can get it on thebestpoliticalshirts.com. And the clip that I played in the beginning of this broadcast was originally shared by Wall Street Silver. I don't know who uh, first shot this video. I don't know who this gentleman is, but his points about what happened during the Roman Empire and what's happening now are uh, pretty much uh, are pretty much right on the head here. As it's fair to say that we are seeing the end of Western civilization and the start of a new technocratic, unaccountable, artificial intelligence dominated central bank digital currency social credit score like system that is usurping and destroying life as we know it. But hey, that sports ball team there. Ooh, that, oh, oh wait, that celebrity over there? 16 years ago, he's accused of doing something really crazy. Let's all go get him, as of course, that's exactly what is happening to Russell Brand, that in the making of this video is officially responding to all the major accusations against him as he is currently live right now on the Rumble platform with over 85,000 people as of the making of this video watching concurrently his response with online commentator Jimmy Dore breaking down the organized, coordinated media and government attacks against him, his livelihood, and his reputation as he is denying many of the allegations against him and talking about the, quote, trusted alleged news initiative and organization that he is pointing the finger at, directly blaming responsibility for when it comes to the larger attacks that are being organized against him. All of this is also happening as, of course, the UK police have just officially opened up an investigation into all of the allegations against him. And, uh, you know, unlike the British government, unlike YouTube, unlike the corporate media, we're actually going to wait to see what actually happened here rather than, of course, jumping to conclusions and just trying to ruin someone because they express political opinions that the establishment doesn't like. All of this as there are a lot of very powerful people out there that have done a lot of crazy, unspeakable things that uh, aren't really being held accountable for all the nefarious actions and private island visits that they've been to. But this one guy who rails against Big Pharma, yeah, that, oh yeah, that guy's trouble there. As the Associated Press, the Times of London, and other media organizations are calling for the end of Rumble, one of the few platforms that has allowed Russell Brand to actually not have his life destroyed over accusations, as they have responded to the British government that kind of, in a mafioso-like threatening letter, told them that they want Russell's livelihood to taken away on Rumble. 
Rumble responded saying, hey, um, yeah, we're not going to do any of that. And now, because of that, there's a coordinated media attack on Rumble, as, of course, many big corporations have pulled advertisements from the platform. And now the fangs of the establishment are trying to set their teeth into this online social media platform that already is banned in France because they didn't bow down to their government's requests of censorship of other media outlets that the French government didn't like. As of course, human beings have an amazing superpower called discernment, where we actually could think critically for ourselves, look at opposing viewpoints, and be able to judge for ourselves what is right and what is not. We don't need a big nanny state government sitting on top of us telling us what we can and cannot listen to. And this idea that censorship is somehow good for you is absolutely absurd, as of course it is extremely dangerous for societies and humanity. This as now the UK British press is calling for Rumble to be banned in all of the United Kingdom. It's already banned in France. Doesn't matter, especially if you have a VPN. We don't have a VPN advertisement. You should still get one, especially if you're in France and want to watch some of the great videos on Rumble, as these latest attack pieces are very apparent to who they actually serve, what their purposes are, as of course, why are you attacking a platform that's allowing people to speak freely? Say what you may about Rumble, but it is a platform that is gaining a lot of media attention, and rightfully so. We started to use it ourselves, as of course, we just did another major two and a half hour podcast with Carl Benjamin of the Lotus Eaters, aka Sargon of Akkad, where we got into some really incredible issues that we probably couldn't get into here on this particular platform. That video is available on rumble.com forward slash we are change. As of course, we are fully demonetized here and had our income taken away. And this is not the first time this happened. It happened a couple of years ago. So we started the best political shirts.com. Recently, this year, there was also another major hit against our advertisement revenue. So we just decided to launch wearechange.shop, our own official line of products that I fully stand behind. I personally use, I really like, and I think you will too as well. As of course, the products are always uh, in my shot, are always on my desk. I really like them. I, again, do your own research, do your own homework. We have a bunch of resources and a bunch of information that you should look into before taking any of these products. Always talk to your medical professional. I always keep telling people, hey, do your blood work. Check out what's really going on in your system. As of course, a lot of people, majority of people have a lot of deficiencies, especially when it comes to the vitamins and minerals that they're not getting in their diet that is being destroyed and weaponized against us. And this is why a lot of individuals like Joe Rogan talk about how supplementing is almost mandatory now because of how destroyed our entire food system is. A lot of people deal with anxiety. A lot of people have a hard time sleeping. This is, again, why we launched these particular products. The one that I am proud of more is TakeCalm.com. This thing is something that I've been testing for over a year. I've been trying to find the best product. I think I have. It's something that really helps me. I think it can help you. It's 1,000 milligrams. It's full spectrum. And, and truly, if, if you're dealing with things like inflammation, having a hard time sleeping, anxiety, this is something that helps me. It could help you. Find out more on TakeCalm.com, as, of course, we also have a resource page and a video where you could conveniently watch from other independent media creators their take on this particular product and how it works, what it does for you, and what you should be careful of, especially when taking some of these supplements. Again, wearechange.shop is the place where you could see all of them and more importantly, begin your own independent health journey. So yeah, check out that link down in the description below. Click on it right now and find out all the amazing products we have. As of course, you probably know someone already taking fish oils. Why would they take fish oils from a bad corporation when they could support our company, our mission here, at the same time supporting this independent media broadcast. This says, of course, the purchasing power of your dollar is being utterly destroyed as the government loves to spend money on wars and a lot of other things internationally while uh, not really taking care of the people here domestically inside of the United States. As, of course, we have this glaring clip from 60 Minutes that a lot of Americans are shocked after watching, asking themselves, why can't... Why, why can't we can't why can't we have these things now you compare that footage to footage from uh, let's just say San Francisco and uh, you you really have a, a, a question that's left in a lot of Americans minds being like 
What in the hell are we doing? This says the United States government is paying for Ukrainian bureaucratic corrupted politician salaries while American citizens are being forelowed in impending government shutdowns, supporting small and independent businesses, paying for first responders, as even the Pope now is calling for more war, more weapons, more death and destruction inside of Ukraine as he just officially came out and told countries, quote, not to play games with Ukraine when it comes to sending them weapons of death. This says a lot of Catholics are like, hey, uh, we're, we're supposed to be a re religion here. We're not supposed to be cheering on the military industrial complex. As a lot of people are, are angered about the Pope's official stance here, who's demanding more of a bloodlust and sacrifice to whatever satanic entity he's probably serving, according to my own personal opinion, criticizing countries who do not want to give all of their weapons to Ukraine. This as Poland, the neighboring country that has helped out Ukraine tremendously, has recently called for a limitation of the arms sent to that country. And as the Pope is crying about not enough weapons in Ukraine, Zelensky just announced that U.S. Abrams tanks have arrived inside of Ukraine and will be used on the front lines against Russia very soon. As the Ukrainian military has been making some very significant aggressive attacks on the Sevastopol Russian naval military installation that according to many military analysts, this entire conflict is truly about as the Russians black fleet commander was just taken out after a missile from Ukraine hit the Crimea HQ headquarters for the Russian military installation there. As the Ukrainians have been using a significant amount of submarine drones against the only Russian warm water port, which is crucial for the Russian military when it comes to their dominance and influence over the world. This is all happening after Vladimir Zelensky just had a very important trip to Canada where the local parliament there with Zelensky decided to give a standing ovation to a 98-year-old SS Waffen officer of the guy who was fighting on the German side during World War II. Yes, you heard that correctly. There is outrage right now as the Canadian Parliament unironically stood up and gave a standing ovation to a Waffen SS officer who fought against the Russians in the 1940s. Holy frickin' cow. This as the local government there is denying that this SS officer actually met with Trudeau, even though there's uh, photos of him waiting to meet Trudeau and Zelensky inside of the Canadian parliament, which of course he was led into. This is not the only troubling connection to the Canadian government and to, uh, you know, the SS. As men, many members of parliament are saying, hey, I, I just stood up and applauded because everyone else did. I didn't know this guy was, you know, an SS officer. One Canadian bureaucrat said that he's sick to his stomach. And the Canadian Speaker of the House will issue a statement today <laughs> talking about the, the blunder. Is it really a blunder, though? as they are now going to apologize to Jewish groups for, uh, you know, celebrating an SS officer. Holy frickin' cow. All of this as a, a lot of, you know, the, the SS tactics, the dehumanizing efforts, the propaganda, the psyops that, you know, those same Germans used. Very similar policies that go against human rights that the Canadian government loved within the last three years were being implemented by the Canadian government. As here in the United States, we're also dealing with a lot of suppression of the media, of important news, as Tucker Carlson also came out and spoke about how the U.S. government banned him from interviewing Vladimir Putin, the president of Russia, as he previously described how his private, allegedly encrypted signal messages were hacked by U.S. intelligence agencies that, of course, read them without his permission and then reached out to him and told him that he may not interview the leader of Russia, a conversation that I think would be very important, a conversation that might help ease tensions, as, of course, these tensions are rising. They are getting very serious. The escalations happening in, in Ukraine right now are absolutely troubling and uh, will become more troubling 
the further we allow this kind of madness, this kind of destruction of speech, this celebration of death and the promotion of the military industrial complex and war, which should be stopped by good people speaking out against it. And if you agree, this is why you sharing the video is more imperative and important than ever. Again, very little, ex absolutely, excuse me, no anti-war voices on the corporate media. I don't know, I, you tell me one person that, that's anti-war on the corporate media. I can't think of a person right now because all we get is propaganda from the military industrial complex from individuals who celebrate a death cult that want more horrendous horrors on the face of this earth. It is essentially a fight between good and evil that's unfolding right in front of our eyes. Choose a side, speak out against it because if you don't, that other side is absolutely going to win. That's my personal take. That's my personal opinion. Do you think I'm wrong? Let me know if you think I am down in the description below. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys, and that's why I love you guys. Stay tuned for more here on wearechange.org.